And I guess why it's vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas Day 7. This is Barbara. I usually do the Flame and Fiber podcast. I haven't been saying that very much. I figure, you know, there aren't very many people stumbling upon my Vlogmas and there are people who know me and are looking for them. So, but I could be wrong about that. So I'm Barbara. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Day 7, December 7th. Um, It's almost noon. I have... I, I had a terrible night's sleep. I'm a, not a good sleeper, and I jinxed myself because I was just thinking the, the other day, oh, I've been sleeping so great since I got home. Not today. I didn't fall asleep till like 5 o'clock in the morning, so I stayed in bed a long time, and then Dennis brought me tea, which was lovely, until Pearl spilled it on me in bed. And... And then, some, you know, other things, and... I warned Dennis, I said, I don't think this is going to be a good day. I'll, I'll try not to be too grumpy, but I'm giving you a fair warning. <laughs> he appreciates fair warning. <laughs> it, it just behooves him to not tease me on days like this, where I feel like, you know, things are, are not going well. Although, I fixed my hair. I wasn't going to talk about my hair anymore, but... I took a shower and I fixed my hair. The silver lining to having thin, you know, fine hair is that it takes no time to dry. My hairdresser has to wet it to style it because by the time she's done cutting it, it's dry already. So it takes three minutes, five tops, and I'm like, why don't I do this more fun? I feel better when my hair looks good. Although, frankly, when it's just been done and colored and everything, it looks good just leaving it because it looks cute like a little pixie cup. Um, it's when it's, when it's a little longer that it needs more help. But, you know, get in the habit. Mm. This is my David's Tea Sheep Mug today. So I've had a cup of tea. Dennis brought me tea. So this is my first cup of coffee, which is always the best one. I should just get a giant, giant mug. <laughs> just have all my coffee as the first cup. My daughter does that. I have my Advents. Susan's Advent. Day 7, Beyond Basics. Beyond Basics. I have no idea. Beyond Basics. Knit. Jewel of India. Oh, that's a pretty color. Yeah, Jewel of India, indeed. Look at those colors. That's lovely. Very nice. Very nice. And a pretty bag. And then day seven from Megan. Oh, that's a pretty color, too. This says... Curl shaped yarns. Curl shaped yarns. Your pen gave out there. Anyway, that's very pretty. This is, you know, this is the kind of colors I, I'm drawn to, I guess, because that's what I, of course, I don't never necessarily, yeah. Uh, anyway, beautiful. So that'll be fun. Trying to predict my day. Well, one of the things that I'm going to do to try to help myself feel better is I am going to start straightening up. And here I have scheduled a uh, cleaning service to come in. They're coming in next Saturday, a week from tomorrow. But I have a lot of straightening up to do before anybody could actually clean. I've been reading this book, and I don't remember um, the name of it. Decluttering at the Speed of Life. I keep wiggling the camera. I'm sorry. I think it's called Decluttering at the Speed of Life. I've been watching some, you know, minimalist videos and things like that. I'm not a minimalist, and I'm never going to be, but I'm watching them for a little bit of inspiration to help me declutter. I need to declutter. But this book, <clears throat> and if I, unfortunately, it's on my phone, um, 
is only about decluttering. It's not about organizing. It's not about minimalism. It's about decluttering. And her basic premise is that you have a container. Your house is a container. It can only hold so, so much. But other things are containers too. Shelves are containers. Drawers are containers. That kind of thing. And you basically um, get rid of stuff until your container Till it, till everything you have fits in your container. You know, it's not trying to get down to, you know, do you love everything or whatever. You put the things you like the best in first, and when you fill up your container, you're done. And, you know, it's a very simple concept that never occurred to me. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to declutter so that my containers aren't overflowing. I'm not doing that today. Uh, today I'm just going to try to straighten up so that the cleaners can clean when they come next week. But it's got me thinking, and I have started working in little corners of my house, and so, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be working on that. I'm gonna be doing things that to try to make myself feel better. And as strange as that may sound, one of them will be straightening up down here, so that when I'm sitting there knitting, I'm um, not stressed out by what I see. The other thing I may try to do is um, pull out some Christmas decorations. With my poinsettias, you can see my poinsettias. With my poinsettias, I don't need a lot of things to make it feel Christmassy. But I do have some things I love. Christmas trees and Santas, I told you about that yesterday. And so I'll pull some of those out. And I only decorate in this room here. So it's not a big job. And since we're not going to put up a tree this year, it uh, that'll help. So I am going to drink my tea, uh, uh, coffee, and figure out what I'm doing next. Since I had so many holes in my socks, I found a sock whip that I started knitting on. And uh, my plan is to um, double up the yarn in the back of the heel and the bottom of the heel with additional yarn. This is Cascade Heritage uh, 7525 that I bought like to do heels and toes and things in. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something out. Somebody uh, suggest on Instagram suggested going down a needle size. I was trying to picture how to do that knitting two at a time. In my twilight sleep I couldn't figure it out but um, I did figure out how I, I might just add another you know, make the yarn thicker. I don't know if that's a good idea. If you have an opinion about that, please let me know because I am not an experienced sock knitter um, necessarily. I mean, this is only my second pair of socks that's worn, that got holes worn in it. The first one was a Koigu, and everybody on my knit like, you can't make socks out of Koigu. Hey, it was a sock club. It was the first yarn from a sock club. Anyway, I'm going to try this and see what I think. So that's my current plan. So I'm going to sit and relax. We'll probably maybe take the dog to the dog park today. That would be fun. And try not to get too grumpy. That's my plan. <laughs> so I have executed my plan and added an extra strand on the bottom of the heel of this. This is a vanilla is the new black heel which is exactly the same heel that blew out in those socks I showed you yesterday. But it may be too much. This yarn is quite thin. It's a light fingering. It's um, kind of very rustic yarn. So I thought adding uh, another fingering, and the Cascade is not a light fingering. So it's made it pretty thick. I don't know if you can see, I added the black. But I am going to keep going with this. I've done the black and the finished the bottom of the heel on the one sock. I'm going to continue and do it the same thing on the second sock. And see what I end up with. If it feels too loose on the rest of the foot, I'll decrease some. But I think I'm going to... I'm going to try it. What the heck? I've got one sock done. So watching some some podcasts and vlogmases. Pearl is sitting there 
we have not gone for our WALK yet. I think we're going to go to the park instead, Dennis and I, and let her run like a maniac. We may uh, go out and about later. And I am feeling better, in case you were wondering. So that's good. So, happy Vlogmas. So we're at the park. She won't chase the ball. But if, that do Oops, if that dog chases the ball, she'll chase the dog. some treats. We don't normally train her with treats, but needs must. We need her to pay attention to us even when things are fun. So she's running around like a maniac. It is three and a half degrees centigrade according to our car and she is in the water. <laughs> she's a water dog. She is a water dog. Where the heck is she? There she is. Come on, pup. Come on. There we go. She discovered she liked to swim when we were in Florida. She was trying to swim all the way out to sea. Come on, pup. Anyway, she's having fun at the park. Nothing. <laughs> I just told Dennis he could say nothing. <laughs> say happy. happy Vlogmas. <laughs> So things didn't work out, you know, I should stop talking about what I'm going to do during my day because it never pans out. So Dennis felt like getting out and I was hungry and I said yes and we need to fix up the store. So this is our grocery store, our Wegmans has a pub, which is a sit down, has a sit down restaurant and a food bar. So there's nothing like a little calamari and a Cosmo before you start your grocery shopping. So that's what we're doing. It's got to be 5 o'clock somewhere. Happy Vlogmas. Shepherd stuffy that she got from David in the mail today. David Dog Dare. And she loves it, although I am not sure that that was actually a doggy toy. So we will see how long that lasts her. He also gave me a lovely mug, which I will have my coffee in tomorrow, and you can see it. But I'm thinking about going upstairs and having a bath and checking out my bathroom, so we will see. All right, so here are the bath bombs we made yesterday, and they're nice and solid. And I'm gonna go try one out and see what I think. I'm gonna see if I can shape this a little bit so it's a little bit nicer, but you know, hey, we'll see how it works. So I finished my bath, I'll tell you the truth. I didn't really I wasn't sure that I could tell the difference. It may be a little bit. I made a mistake and turned on my, turned on, lit my candles. And so that probably messed any scent I might have. And I didn't really feel it in the water, maybe a little bit. So I think I'm gonna have to take a bath tomorrow with two or three. I have a quite a large tub of a big so soaking tub, which takes all the uh, water in our hot water heater. So I probably need more than sort of a regular size tub full of water would need. So I'm gonna try again with a larger amount and see what I think. Otherwise, I'm a little disappointed in my bath bomb. I think I didn't have enough. <laughs>